Okay, here's a solution to fixing the Dometic CCC2 thermostat 32 degree problem. You'll find when you have this problem and your thermostat is off, you'll press and hold this inside temp and it'll tell you the correct temperature inside your RV, which in this case is 75 degrees. However, what the problem is going to be, when you turn it on, you're going to press and hold that button, and it's going to tell you your inside temp is 32 degrees. I've already fixed the problem, so and that's why mine's not doing it right now. But the first thing a person would think is it's got to be in the thermostat. The thermostat's what's reading the inside temperature. However, you notice when it's off, it reads the right temperature. So that's obviously not the problem. So I'm going to take you up to the, to the heat pump I have. But this would be a problem if you have a furnace, a heat pump, an air conditioner, whatever. As long as you've got this thermostat system, you're going to probably have this problem sometime. So here we are inside the RV. I have a vent system, but like I said, this would apply to, to any air conditioner that uses this thermostat. Um, I'm going to, this is the air intake side. You got two little tabs you pull down. I can't get the video to work good, but this whole cover comes off. You got a little air filter there. You're going to want to make sure that's clean, obviously, while you got it off. Set this aside show you where the problem is so up inside here as you can see what I'm looking at you'll see the whole bunch of wires and I don't even have a light but it's not gonna matter so you're gonna see a whole bunch of wires stuffed up in a cavity here which is a, the obvious place to stuff all these wires because otherwise they're gonna block your airflow you want to keep those wires up there, but you're going to pull all this mess out. And what you're looking for is this little plug right here. Mine happens to have a red and a white wire on it. I assume they all probably do. Just a, it's just a little plug. It's not even a sensor. It's just a plug. And you see there's nothing plugged into it. Well, what happens is up inside here, I can't get enough light in there, but way up in here, if you put your hand up and over and down where all those wires are stuffed, you'll see there's a drip tray under there and it's probably full of water. Either you got high humidity or you got a lot of rain, but for whatever case, that drip tray is meant to catch water and then it drains it out. But all these wires are up inside there laying in that water and this plug in particular, if it gets wet in that water, it tells your thermostat that it's 32 degrees inside there. I don't even know what this plug is for. I'm guessing this is for um, connecting another unit if you have more than one zone. But uh, it doesn't really matter what it's for. But I sprayed some wire dryer in there. You could dry it with your hair dryer. Dry it. Shove your wires back up inside there. And make sure that one little plug does not find its way back down, down into the drip pan. Because if it does, it's going to get wet again. So put this wire up in there somewhere where it's not going to lay in that drip pan and your problem solved. No need to replace any motherboards on the air conditioner, on the heater, on the heat pump, or replace the thermostat. That will solve your problem. Thank you.